Welcome back guys, this is James White with Frequent Reviews for my mail time number four. Last month I did mail time number three and I vowed to continue to chip away at this big stack of packages sent to me unsolicited. First of all, let me show you the stack of mail I'm dealing with and then I'm gonna spin the wheel and see what's first. Here is the existing stack of stuff. And I don't even think I, this is everything. This is just most of it. Let's go spin the wheel and see what comes up first. I have almost all the items put in this wheel. I'm gonna spin it. All right, it's the go-go pick. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's some sort of a selfie thing. Not sure. Let's go grab it and see what it looks like. All right, now I've got to find the go-go pick. I think it's over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. By the way, I should point out, I'm under no obligation to give these items a good review. If they're not very good, I'll let you know. Let's crack this one open. Oh, there's two of them in here. Best tool for selfie experts. Is that really a thing, a selfie expert? All right, well, let me, uh, let me crack this open. Let me see. Oh, they say $1 of proceeds go to underprivileged students. That's good. Gently press it against your phone or a polished phone case by pressing the suction cups and not squeezing the plastic edges. Gently press the other side of the go-go pick against a clean mirror or glass. Start your photo shoot and shine or watch or live stream a video. All right, interesting, uh, interesting color. Are they both this color? Let me see. Oh no, that one's black. I'll, you know what, I'll, I'll leave the blue one out. So I guess I gotta grab my phone. All right, this is a nice, smooth iPhone back. I guess these are the same. It doesn't really matter which side you put on your phone. It says, do not squeeze the plastic edges. And... Man, am I gonna trust my phone to a couple of suction cups from some random company? I don't know. I guess I'm going to. Well, let me go find some mirror and some or some glass and see how this works. I'm a little bit skeptical already, but that doesn't mean it won't work. Let's try it out. All right, what I've done is got my purple pillow out here because I don't trust it. I'm gonna put it on this mirror right here. And if it falls, at least it should get some sort of a shock absorber, I hope. I better not mess my phone up. I'm not going to be happy. Man, I'm not sure I trust that. Would you trust that? Let me see if I can get some sort of a selfie going on here. Well, you can't angle it. That's one thing about it. I'm like off-centered. Oh. How do I get it off? Oh. Well... The good thing is the suction cups work well, but the bad thing is I don't know how to get this off here. Uh, <laughs> I like how they don't tell you how to remove it. <laughs> uh, I had to use my fingernails. But let me see how this turns out. I'll post it on social media, so if any of you guys follow me on there, you'll see the picture before the video's up. And I'm going to leave this up here for a while and see how long the suction cup holds, which it seems like it's pretty sturdy. But I'm gonna move on to the next thing while my phone sits here and hopefully if it falls, it falls on this. We'll see. It's been three hours. The good news is that it stayed. The bad news is that the bottom suction cup is disconnected and I don't trust it anymore. But on the other hand, they didn't say it was supposed to last long term anyways. I think it worked, but I certainly wouldn't leave up there long term. This is a seven plus. Try it down there. All right, so after adjusting it, I had it higher, it wasn't right. Having it lower, it looks centered. So what's up everybody? This is James White with freaking Go Go Pick Reviews. I think it's okay. I think that it has a use, but I'm not sure I want to trust my phone to a suction cup on a window. I don't trust suction cups in general. As I said before, I think some people will find a use for this, not everybody. Well, I picked the wrong place to be filming, didn't I? Because this is like Grand Central Station over here. I'm trying to film. It's not very adjustable. Like I, I can't really adjust it. I can adjust it left and right, but I can't adjust it up and down. If I want to adjust it up and down, it just came off. Well, again, I, I'm still on the fence about this one. What do you guys think?
All right, let me, let me talk for a second about slide belt. The slide belt is the only item on that stack that actually wasn't sent to me unsolicited. It was given to me by a viewer of this channel. A man and his wife came out last year. I met up with him. He had seen my review of the comfort click belt. He had seen my review of the track line belt. He wanted me to try the slide belt, which I haven't tried yet, but I put it on my stack of stuff. So today I'm gonna to try the slide belt. That's a nice looking buckle there. No holes, you have a ratchet design. And also on the back, you have guides where you can cut it to fit you. I might have, I'm not sure what size this is cut to, but I might have to recut this one as well. Now, if you'll excuse me while I whip this out. This is my beloved track line belt, which I've been wearing since May of 2018. That's when I did this review back in Iowa, actually. But let me compare the two of these together. The track line and the slide belt, let me lay these out and see how they actually compare. And then I'll wear this one the rest of the week and see how I like it compared to the track line. I've got the two of these laid side by side. The track line is much shorter, so I'm gonna have to cut this one down. And look at how the shape, it looks like my track lines actually kind of changed shape over the years. It used to be straight and now there's, it's bent. But let me first up cut this one down and make them the same size and then See how it works. Buckle comes off quite easily. Let me cut this down and get started. All you do is insert it in that opening. And then you press this down. All the ratchet belts I've tried have a similar process for adjusting the size and that seems to be pretty straightforward. All right, let me put this one on and see how it feels. This is a nice brown leather one. I don't have a good brown belt, so that's probably a good thing anyways. All right, what do you guys think about that? Good, yeah? Not bad. For those of you who missed my original ratchet belt videos, when you put the belt on, here's how it actually adjusts. And when you want to loosen it up, just lift. Slides right back out. Lift and slide. Put it back down to tighten. Very simple. And I am a huge believer in ratchet belts, so I'm happy about this one. I'm gonna put this one back on. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the week and I'll report back at the end of this video. Let's take a look at the slide belt compared to a couple others here. Again, this is my core track line belt, the slide belt. And the As Seen on TV Comfort Click Belt. They're all ratchet type belts. Now the core track line belt's different than the others. To adjust this, you actually have to lift this lever, which might be very slightly less convenient than the slide belt and the Comfort Click Belt, which have the same type of mechanism here, which all you do is lift to adjust. Comfort Click Belt. Lift to adjust. As you can see here, the comfort click belt and the slide belt have about the same number of ratchets, the same number of adjustments, micro adjustments, so you can really fine tune uh, the actual size of the belt. Now let's bring in the core track line belt. Significantly more adjustments. This is only significant if you're really on the extreme end of the scale one way or the other, but it does have more adjustments. That could be a deal breaker for some people. Quality wise, I don't see a huge difference, but that's the only major difference between the the slide belt and the, and the core is that the core has more adjustments. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with all three of these. Although I think the comfort click belt isn't quite as well made as the others. These two are pretty well made and I'll probably continue to use both of them. Spin the wheel one more time and fly Nova. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. Oh, we got three of them. We got some extras here. Fly Nova is a flying Fidget spinner. It can be flown like a boomerang too. That should be interesting. All right, it looks pretty simple. Pretty simple. Oh, it does kind of work like a fidget spinner. And we get a very small charging cable here. They call it here, they call it a UFO. Charge the UFO. A pretty small switch here, but it's supposed to be set to off when you charge it, which I will do. That's where you plug it in at. Okay, we've got, we've got a red charging light. Let's see how long this takes. And then I'll get started with it. All right, that took about 12 minutes. The instructions say that it's gonna take about 20, so I don't know if it was partially charged when it arrived. Now the instructions say you're supposed to hold it between your thumb and forefinger. It can't be your middle finger, it has to be your forefinger. Making sure the aircraft is up. 
Turn the switch on, and then you're supposed to spin it. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Now how do I turn it off? Oh, it turned off by itself. Okay. Let me read these over again. I don't remember it talking about that. It's a lot louder than I expected. I'm not sure how well these designs are showing up on the camera, but they actually look really cool. Oh, it stopped that way. Well, now I know. Just have it crash and then it'll stop. I think that's a no. All right, here we go. Real world test of the Fly Nova. Ooh, here we go. Whoa. All right, well, this is easier right here. You're supposed to be able to throw it to yourself. That didn't work, work out too well. I guess I need to practice a little bit. I'm getting there. I'm getting it. Oh, 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 he did it. He did it. I'm getting the hang of this. I think I'm going to be able to do it before this charge runs out. Let's do it. Now the, the instructions say you're supposed to catch it like this, which I'm finding difficult to do because when it's flying over your head, catching it gently with two fingers is not so easy. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, oh. It was a great throw and a terrible catch. I'm getting there. They make it look easier to catch than it is. It's still fun though. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, I'm actually having fun with this, to be honest. This is the money shot right here. Oh, there wasn't so much money in that shot. Oh, I'm just gonna catch it the way I wanna catch it. Forget their two finger catching technique. I'm just gonna catch it. That's the, that's the way to do it. Sorry, Fly Nova, I can't do the two finger catching technique. But everything else is great about this. I wonder how far I can throw this. Let's try it. I didn't wanna throw it that far, did I? Oh well. Trust me. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of the worldy ball I did back in 2017 but that one had a sensor in it when it was getting close to your hand this one doesn't seem to so it just hits your hand and flops off of it but this one's actually it's, I'm kind of having fun with it it'd be better with two people I think but the, the boomerang effect is actually pretty cool That's right. All right. All right, shut up. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the Fly Nova. The battery lasts pretty long compared to some of the other toys like this I've done. Except the fact that they want you to catch it like this, which to me is almost impossible. I think it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. And I don't have much else to say about it. The Fly Nova is pretty fly. <laughs> <laughs> And Eris Pillow. Let's see what we got. Ooh. They give you some earplugs and an eye mask. That's always nice. Air out before use for 24 hours. Well, that, yeah, I guess it does need to be aired out a little bit. Um, it says, do not machine wash or dry, just spot clean it. Hopefully it don't get too dirty, I guess. What is this? Looks like some sort of a fanny pack. What is this? What's interesting is they have an entire page of instructions telling you to push this button to release them and put them back together. I don't know if you need an entire page for that. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh wow, this is a full on memory foam feeling pillow. This is very nice. Okay, that's what's under the hood. They have these, looks like some little breathable holes right there, but look at that. Wow, that feels really nice. 
I'm a little surprised. I don't think I've felt this material in an actual travel pillow before. I'm sure they exist, I just haven't felt it. By the way, you adjust this by squeezing and then letting it go. Wow. It's hard to really convey on camera how this feels different from other travel pillows that I've used, but it does feel different. That material, it's firm. It takes, it takes a while for your head to really sink into it. I need to let this air out for a day first before I put it to too much use. The other thing you say is that's a, this bag, you can fit the entire thing in this small bag. This is a small bag. Let's try it out. They say to roll it like this. Let's squeeze it in here. Oh, come on, is it gonna fit in there? No way. It just unfurled on me. Let me try again. Just gonna get aggressive here. Ugh. Get in there. Ugh. 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 My hands are actually tired after doing that, but I made it fit. I'm not sure some of the elderly travelers out there with strength problems in their hands could do what I just did because it really required a lot of effort. Nice idea, but I don't think so for most people. But let me air this thing out and then tomorrow I'll get back to it. Well, that was kind of a long day at the park actually. But good thing I have my Aeris travel pillow so I can take a quick nap here in the car without going home. Might as well try through eye shade and the earplugs while I'm at it. It smells like a Halloween mask. I'm not really a fan of these kind of earplugs, but we'll try them anyways. Just imagine how awkward it'd be if a cop came up and asked me what I was doing right now. It'd be very strange. All right, so let me see here. It's a very comfortable pillow, I will say. I gotta take these earplugs out. That's kind of awkward. The, the memory phone's very hard, but in a good way, actually. And if you like a harder memory foam, this would work really well. I like that you can adjust it right here. I like that the, the, it's an aerated memory foam. That's very comfortable. I'm not sure that the, the, eye, the eye mask is actually pretty good for a freebie. Uh, the earplugs, I would probably get a different type of earplugs than that, but. Oh, all right, I've been laying this thing for a little while. I think that it's, it's very thick and supportive memory foam. Very good about that. It's, I do like the connector it has here, and I also like the fact that it's a washable cover. So it's, it's everything, uh, it has everything going for it. Now I've done some other travel pillows before, some better than others. Like the ostrich pillow I did in Hawaii. This one, it, it's an interesting one. It's very hot and claustrophobic, but it is comfortable as well. Something like this, you wouldn't have to worry about what angle you lay at because every angle you hit, you got padding. With the Aeris pillow, it's only around your neck. So I think the ostrich pillow would be better about that, but on the other hand, I'm already sweating in here and I've only had it on for about a minute. So really, if you're looking for a good neck travel pillow, this is definitely one to consider. There are others out there, but this is certainly a viable option. Oh, the leaf razor. Well, let me go dig it out of the stack and start shaving. All right, I've got this nice personalized note here. They've reinvented the razor. It says leaf shave is a better way to shave. Let's try it out. It's been a while since I've done a shaving video, so it might be kind of fun. Or not. I clean this mirror off. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. This looks like the blades. This looks like it'd be a nice, attractive stand. There's a blade in here. I gotta snap it in half. It just snapped. I believe they said this is also magnetic, so the blades will not flop around when you're putting them in there, which is kind of a cool idea, actually. You can also load up from one to three blades, from what I understand. I'm gonna go for the full three, might as well. All right, so this is a cartridge razor, which is very common here. And I've been using this one for three years. Now these blades, depending on your use and the humidity where you're at, they can last for quite a while. This is the Fusion 5. I've had blades of this last for up to two months before. Again, I've I also had people say that don't last more than a week. It really depends on you and your climate. This is the Leaf Shave, which has been loaded up with three blades. It's a safety razor, and the blades are significantly cheaper. The blades for this one can be 
I don't know, $4 a piece? Safety razor blades are, you know, in the pennies. So it's significantly cheaper to refill a safety razor than a cartridge razor. Now let's go to the bathroom and start shaving. All right, so every time I've done a shaving video, especially with cartridge razors, I get the same predictable, angry comments saying that a safety razor is the only way to really get a close shave. And I get that. I use a safety razor for several years myself. No disrespect to the safety razors now. But on the other hand, maybe the leaf will offer something that the previous safety razors I've used didn't, and maybe it'll convert me back. First up, we gotta trim this down a little bit. All right, I've shaved that down to nice, pretty thick stubble. That's pretty thick stubble. For those of you who are wondering, no, I will not shave all this off. I'll never do it. At least not again, I've done it before. It's not a good look for me, but let's try this out. It's a very large, <laughs> as I'm holding it to my face, I realize how large this thing is. It's pretty large. Some of the safety razors I've used don't have any kind of a rotating head, so this is kind of a nice feature. Let's try it out. I'm going very gingerly, because safety razors, it's easy to not be so safe with them. All right, side one is down. Let me try side two. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I did get one small nick here, but I think that if you've been using a cartridge razor and you've been wanting to try out a safety razor, this might be a good choice because it has the feel of a cartridge razor. It seems a little bit more forgiving than some of the other safety razors I've used. It's got three blades. It's gonna be much less expensive. I think the leaf razor is actually quite good. Now I'm gonna go in the shower and try it on my head and see how it does there. Hopefully I don't nick it too much then. The reason I nicked myself is I'm not blaming the razor for that, but I'm used to this type of razor where you can push much harder. You have to be more gentle on this type of razor. And it's a little bit of an adjustment. When I used a safety razor a few years ago, the first time I did it, my face looked like ground beef, but after a while, I got used to it. So let's go in the shower try it upstairs. All right, so it's been a few days I've been using the Leaf Razor. Let me uh, just go over what I've got so far. Now, I made some changes since the first time I used it. Number one, I stopped shaving my face because I don't shave my face too often, so maybe that wasn't really that fair. So I'm just stuck to my head, which I do shave regularly. And number two, I bumped it down to one blade, which is one nice feature of the Leaf Razor is you can use one, two, or three blades. I probably should have started with one and worked my way up. I didn't, but I'm back down to one, and I have not had a problem nicking or cutting myself since then, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I do think that it's not for everybody, but if you're looking for a safety razor, this should be on your short list of those to consider because it has a flexible head to it. You can use multiple razors, you can scale up if you wanna have more than one razor. I'm not sure if I'm converted yet, but I am impressed with this razor. A lot of people have told me that I should probably rate the items that I review, so I'll try that with pros and cons as I wrap this thing up. And by the way, I'm giving away three of these items, so stick around for more information on that. Let's start with the go-go pick. Now the pros would be that it actually works and the suction cups are quite good. It does kind of give you this sort of tripod effect anywhere there's a mirror or glass. The con would be that you really can't adjust the angle, so that kind of offsets the usefulness a little bit. I would give it a solid six. The slide belt is next. I would say the pros would be that it's very well made. I like the way that the buckle adjusts. I'm also just a huge fan of the ratchet belts in general. Con would be that it really doesn't distinguish itself much from the competition. To me, the core and the slide belt are almost interchangeable. It's not really a bad thing, but it doesn't really make it stand out either. But overall, I do like the slide belt. I'd give it a solid eight and a half. Let's take a look at the Fly Nova next. Now it's fun. It works pretty much as you would expect. It seems pretty durable. And the charge time versus the fly time is actually pretty good. There aren't really any major cons to it other than the fact that they want you to catch it like that, which is pretty difficult. And when it's spinning, you really can't hit the on or off button. But other than that, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna give the Fly Nova a seven and a half. Next up, we'll take a look at the Aeris Travel Pillow. This is actually a really nice one. I love the memory foam. It's very firm yet supportive. The wa cover is washable. I think it's just a very well-made pillow. The only real con is that memory foam aside, this isn't really designed that really stands out. A lot of people have travel pillows like this that maybe they aren't the memory foam, but they work for them. But I do think overall, it seems to be on the higher end of the travel pillow scale. I give it a seven and a half. Finally, let's look at the Leaf Razor. Now it's very well-made. It has this nice flexible head to it. You can have one to three razors in it. It's actually quite nice. Now the con would be that not everybody wants to use a safety razor, even if it is a next gen version of it. It's also quite expensive. Expensive. This ranges from $80 to $110, depending on the package you get. 
I'm not sure everybody wants to fork out that much. And also not everybody wants to adjust to a new learning curve for something like shaving. Overall though, I think it's a very nice razor. I'll give it an eight. Now, if you follow me on my social media profiles, which are listed down there, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, I'm gonna give away these three items. I'm gonna give away my extra Fly Nova, my extra GoGo pick, I'm gonna give a new one off Amazon of the Aeris Pillow. All you do is go on there, comment on this post for this video, which one you want, and I'll just start picking random winners until the three are given away. Also, I'm giving these items away on February 12, 2020, so if you're watching this after that, you missed it, but don't worry, I'm giving away a lot of items throughout the year. But that's all I've got. If you guys have used any of these, tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.